Okay, so for the next fight is Refracted Shock Centipede. This fight is very annoying because the boss has a no die move. Basically, when he has self charge, he doesn't die. And you cannot really reduce this by hitting him. You can only reduce this by doing its mechanic. And its mechanic is on Clash Loose, it will lose 2 self charge. So, what you want to do here is try to get it to 0 self charge as much as possible and maintain it there as long as possible. If you lose any of these clashes, you give him self-charge. So if you look at this move, it's going to combat start gain. And if you win, you lose. Otherwise, he keeps that two self-charge and it will not go down. So it's very important to make sure that you do not lose your clashes against any of his moves. Otherwise, you'll be in for a very long fight. In addition, W Corp here, you need to make sure that they 100% don't lose. Why? Because he will actually suck the charge count out of your W Corporal and then gain one self charge in exchange. So this is very important to take note of. Besides that, the main thing to focus on is the hit. Because once you break the hit, the body will no longer gain 3 protection every turn. And if the shield HP is fully depleted, after using a defensive skill, he also gains 3 offense level down and 3 fragile next turn. This is, uh, you can see the defense skill on round 1. On round 1, he has coil up. So when he does coil up, what you want to do is break that shield. Once you break that shield, he will gain 3 fragility next turn, so you can focus down that hit. So that is my game plan and what I'm going to be doing here. So let's go back to Limbus. And let's get it on. We will be bringing uh, the W Corpus, because once we break the hit, we will need a lot of damage output. But besides that, uh, we just want to bring them. Why? Because they have very good clashing power. I think Grippy is the only one you can argue not bringing because her clashing power is not very good. Maybe we should bring someone like, I don't know, Rhino and Ting Tang can kind of win with their skill 2s and skill 3s. Um, but Grippy still adds a lot more damage to this team form, so I think Grippy is still the play. As well as Fluid Sack, because Fluid Sack can hit 2 parts, and I believe he is 1.5 times weak to Gloom and 2 times weak to Gloom on his hit. So it's still very strong to use Fluid Sack. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just focus down that hit and use your blunt moves, hit that hit. Let's see, I'm also going to use body stack here. Why? Because I'm getting quick suppression next turn. Could make for a very strong opener here. Uh, should I teleport? I think I should teleport. And then we can apply gripping for even more quick suppression damage next turn onto the hit. Yep. Fire! Right, shield broken. Okay, enemy has some really slow speed this time, so it's gonna be much easier. I want to quick suppression the hit. And then I'm going to get rip space next turn, so I just need to use my skill one here. But I'm a bit worried because I do not want him to win any clashes. If he wins any clashes, I will have to deal with so much other stuff. Let's see, uh, what do I want to do here? I need to make sure I dominate these wins here. Yep, we have to dominate. I think popping Yi Sang's ego here will also help me a lot. Yep. I think Yi Sang, you should go here. Fix suppression should go here as well. Hmm. Should be fine, should be fine. I think something like this. And then we'll Yi Sang this one over here to apply the attack down to guarantee that my moves here, which are favored, will win. And then the rest of you can go and hit the hit. Yep. 
it's very important we don't lose a single flash here. So I'm going to actually pop this debuff. But uh, damn it, it actually comes out on turn 5. So this is not very good. Hmm, I need to make sure I don't lose. I might even be considering popping an ego here to make sure I don't lose. Okay, I think you just one-sided here. And then in Claire, you can go and take on that fight over there. So that increases the odds of winning. And then, should I trust this? I think I shouldn't trust this. Maybe I just pop my... Mm, yeah, I just pop this. Okay, I need to make sure we don't lose any. Alright, we look pretty fine here. Let's hope no bad things happen. Very nice, 7 fragility. Okay, now we just need to make sure he does not have any self-charge for the rest of the game. So just keep guaranteeing those wins. Mm, let's think about this. I think we'll just make Ning Clack clash this for the hit. Mine whip here for the hit. Uh, rip space is available. Yep, it's available. Very nice. And then after all of that, rip space should definitely still be available. Very nice. Okay, dominating. And then here, I might just pop the Yi Sang Ego again. Okay, that should be a crap ton of damage onto the head and should break it and then everything else should be a winning clash very nice Very nice, very nice. Okay. The centipede. Oh, he has four self charge. God damn it. That means I have to deal with the self charge phase. <sighs> oh well. Six turn boss isn't so bad.
Well, we have to play the uh, self-charge game here, but at least he only has 5, which means that if I win every clash here, I win. So, let's see, Ninclair is going to be hitting who? Ninclair is going to be hitting... Oh, yikes, this is actually really terrible. Okay, Rabbit, I'm not counting on you to clash anything here. Just need to make sure I win with my rest of the units here. Okay, make sure you win. Make sure you win. Rabbit, not counting on you. Make sure you win. And here, we can use Mind Whip. Make sure you win. Why is this one losing? Isn't it 5 plus 4 plus 4? 4, 8, 12. Oh, because your sanity is not 100%. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting one. Maybe I can use you instead? No, I think you're worse. Okay, I'll just take the favorites here. Should be fine. Get rid of our rip spaces and deaders. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Please win. Thank you. Oh, all right. All right, all right. We are good. We are good. Whew, that was close. All right. Cycle 2 complete. 57 turns. Uh, to get the next one, I need to complete the rest in shorter amounts. All right. So let's see. For the next fight, we are definitely taking Envy Boost. And then we are going to take, let's see, uh, I think we should take this thing at this point. HP healing from skill effects. Ah, actually this one's fine. It's not too bad. Alright, I think that will be it for the third cycle. I think we are pretty much on schedule. Let's see. If I go to fourth, and if I were to take maybe around 40 turns here. 40 turns here and another 40 turns on the next cycle, I should have enough for sub-150 because the Terminus boss only takes about uh, 6 turns. And it can be done in 4 turns if you want to just squeeze it in a little bit more. Yep, so I think we are on track here. Alright, so that will be it for the uh, third cycle. Next we will be heading to the fourth cycle. See you guys then, bye bye.